Hi, in today's video, I want to be showing you how to rewrite PLO for free using two easy methods. I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and let's get started. All right, so the very first thing you want to do is you want to take, you want to find where, where to get your PLO articles from. I typically use free PLO article directory, and it has a whole variety of different topics. So to make things easy, I'm just going to go ahead and click on affiliate marketing. And let me see what's good here. Uh, I like this one, the three easiest ways for noobs to start in affiliate marketing. And I like how it has the rating system out of five and the number of votes. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this one right here and use it as my PLR source. Then I'm gonna move on to the first way in which you can write easily write your PLR articles and that's using HyperWrite. So once you sign up for HyperWrite, it's a free AI content writer. This is what the dashboard looks like. You would just simply click on new document. You have to pay attention to the details when you're rewriting PLR because if you don't enter the settings correctly, it's not going to work. All right, so please watch all the way through and follow along. You would click on blank document. You would choose uh, whatever the topic's about. I click on work. Now for this one, you'd have to go ahead and paste everything. All right, and then I would go ahead and delete everything and just leave the title as instructions. Then for the example paragraph, I would simply um, delete, was it, add the title along with the first paragraph and anything extra, I'd just delete. Next, I would click on go to doc. Okay, wait for it to load. And then from here, I would paste everything. This is gonna be my outline, so to speak. So now what I do is I highlight the first paragraph and copy it. And then I'll click on paragraph because I'm rewriting the entire paragraph. That's very important. Now this option to uh, that shows will show up that says, what do you want the paragraph to be about? It says optional. It's not really optional. If you don't put it in, it's not going to work properly. So what you need to do is you need to paste the first paragraph in here and click on write for me. Now what it's going to do is going to rewrite the paragraph in several different options for you to pick. All right. And I don't really like that, so I'm going to click on write for me again. Okay. And then as you can see, there are several options. Uh, let's see how this one reads. With the aid of the internet, you can almost have everything right at your fingertips. With just a few clicks, you get access to thousands and even millions of pieces of information and data on virtually any field of interest. So what are you waiting for? The three easiest ways for noobs to get started in affiliate marketing. Um, I kind of like this one. right? So then what you do is you simply rinse and repeat. You copy the second paragraph, you would enter it in here, and then click on write for me. All right. Then it would give you several options. Uh, you would go ahead and pick out the options that you like. If you don't, you just click on write for me again, and it will generate more options. I'm just going to click on this one. And all you would have to do is rinse and repeat until your PLR is completely rewritten. Now, most people would probably stop here, but I'm going to show you another tip to polish it off even more as we get towards the end of the video. So that's the first me method in which you can easily rewrite your PLO articles. The second method, let me go ahead and copy the first paragraph. Oops. All right, the second method is using Quillbot. And what you do is you would simply cut and paste the up to 135 words. Okay, so I guess it's up to here. And then you would click on paraphrase and let it rewrite it for you or paraphrase it for you. And then you would just basically copy where you got cut off and then paste it again and rinse and repeat all the way until your PLR is done. Obviously, you would have to store this somewhere, so you would probably have, have to open a word processor and, and copy and paste this into the word processor. All right, but this is the second way in which you can 
uh, easily rewrite your PLL articles for free. Now let me show you an additional step that I like to use in order to kind of polish everything out and that is using Grammarly Premium. So Grammarly Premium is an AI grammar checker that checks for checks for your written content for readability as well as plagiarism if, if you get the pro version and I highly recommend everyone get this because it's really affordable and if you use a lot of writing it makes your writing really pop and and uh, make you make sure that it's uh, unique that's the most important thing most services they charge like just for this service alone but you know Grammarly incorporates the grammar checker as well as the plagiarism which I really like alright so the way I polish it off is I basically take I'm gonna take the first paragraph of the original just to show you um, yeah let me just let me just take the first paragraph of the original just to show you the base the the comparison right how it how the original stands and competes against the rewritten versions alright so without modifying anything the PLL by itself stands at 87, which is not too bad, but it has five alerts, which is possible mistakes. It seems to be very clear, engaging, and just right. But unfortunately, when you go and check for plagiarism, I'm pretty sure it's not up. Oh, it's 100% copy. Okay, so someone just basically took the PLL, pasted it into their blog, and hoped for the best. And uh, this, this, this is going to be. Um, not unique and it's gonna be very hard to rank but since you're not doing that you're going to be using my method your article th that you use from the PLL the rewritten PLR is going to be unique but let's see how well it does so let's say you let's compare the first par paragraph rewritten paragraph to the original right so the original got 87 100 percent copied let's see how the rewritten version does now this is for hyperwrite all right, it's about 48%, uh, not too bad, and it has 84% overall score. Um, at least it's unique and at least it's readable. What I would do with Grammarly is I would go ahead and uh, correct this part right here to make it more unique. Right? It scored a 84, not too bad, but the main thing is the how, how unique it is. If this needs to be a little bit more unique, you can go ahead and fix it out, but it's not too bad for a free tool. Now let's go ahead and do the same thing with Quillbot. Let me copy this here. Let me go ahead and now check the Quillbot first paragraph re rewrite. And let's see how it does. All right. Well, unfortunately, it still is detected as 100% plagiarized. All right. And that's because all it's doing is substituting words. All right. And it's uh, <laughs> so yeah. Even though it's re it it is has a higher overall score and readability, it is still copied. So that's why I would highly recommend out of the two methods you use Hyperwrite. Now this method works and it works decently well using Hyperwrite, but there is a another method that works a lot better than using PLR, and it shows you how to use a content writer to create trending blog posts without the use of rewriting PLRs. And if you're interested in that, I will leave a link in the description below for you to go ahead and check that out. I also have an AI small channel course that shows you how to build a, a small YouTube channel and automate your content creation uh, process using AI tools. So if you're interested in that, you can go ahead and check out my course in the description as well. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, could you please hit that like button? I'm Vince from Digital Nomad Institute, and thank you so much for watching.